Hello, everyone. I, this is going to be an interesting game to play through. This is called Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. It's something that came out quite a bit ago. I, it was on the DS at one point, and I'm playing it off of my iPad. So <laughs> it came out on iOS, as you can see, quite a while ago. I, and I bought it as something to do while I was, well, working a very boring job that not a lot happened in. <laughs> so... I'm going to do chapter select because I don't have really another way to go about this. There's quite a bit of chapters in this. I forget exactly how many. I'm not going to like go down because that's going to spoil a good bit of it. But this game is very unique. It's short, but a very enjoyable experience nonetheless. And I wanted to share this with you all. So we're going to start on chapter one. I'm going to start from this time frame. Yes, we are. Chapter one at 7.02 p.m. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy. I feel like I'm swimming in the darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. I don't think I know her. And then there's this man with a gun. I probably don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy that can stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I just have one little problem. I'm already dead myself. This has got to be me, no question about it. After all, do you see any other dead bodies laying around here? So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But I was just... Just as I was thinking this... There's no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. It immediately throws you into this craziness. What the? <laughs> the whole world all just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world. A la the land of the dead. A voice in my head? Who are you? No time for introductions. Now you have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? Well, that's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core. Just looking at that railway crossing gate to me. It just looks like a railroad crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to try to understand it is just to try it. First of all, Touch, uh, try touching your soul. And you can kind of just move around. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations! Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So, what? Now I'm the crossing gate? Ahem. <laughs> now, uh, use the crossing gate to save the woman. Huh? What? But how? In a moment, your time will start to flow normally again, but that will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you will have to use your powers to stop it. Okay, there are going to be times where things happen so quickly in this that it, I'm probably going to skip the dialogue. I'm going to try to read as much as I possibly can. But there's going to be moments, like this said, you have to save somebody before time happens. I'm going to just not listen to dialogue, I'm not going to look at it. So if you want to know what people say, you probably want to pause the video. Uh, but there are going to be time constraints on things, so just letting you know beforehand. 
So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Trick. Ugh. Hold it. Well played. Uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. You mean, I made the crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated that object with the, with the power, with a power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform the trick is tap the trick button. Now that the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, it still kind of looks like it. He has a, she has a gun pointed at Yes, that's my But at least you're now starting to figure out how to use your power. So I enter the ghost world with ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it. Huh? Now you're getting it. Now to move on to the next step. Try present, possessing a different one. Now, as you can see, even though this is close, it's not something we can actually touch. The only thing we can touch is this good one. Hmm, I see. A guitar then, is it? Hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred the giant wrecking ball. That would have solved my pro it solved a pro the problem real quick, I bet. But I just can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll, we'll see what we can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again to find out. Who's there? Hold it! That's gotta be the slowest running away I've ever seen. Looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see what core is close enough to possess from here. All there... I guess all there is is... me. No time to be picky, I've got a woman to say. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I gotta be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what. Why don't you just try and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. Try to... Okay, go ahead and try the trick button. And you can press it several times, but nothing happens. Huh? Nothing's happening! Exactly. Sad, but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even though they aren't alive anymore, they aren't really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding! Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Eh, let's take a look, shall we? If you want to look around, you can drag the screen. Drag the screen? It's easy. Here, give it a try. Touch and drag. Touch and drag. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty damn right now. My eyesight and your future. my way. Just kicks us off. Does not even care. It's done. I'm on my way. I guess at least he paid his respects. 
In the end, it looks like her fate remained unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... Hello there! How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy would happen tonight. Ah, ignoring me, are you? It's a little bit too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You hear that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice, exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. Um, that's another little trick ghosts can do. It looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. She still ended up as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now. I still have more to teach you about powers and the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. It's a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying there, discarded like a piece of trash. But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave a woman lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick time! Okay, when it says trick time, you're kind of just able to do whatever. Uh, and whenever you have these little X bubbles above you, you can tap them to talk. That's a thought bubble that you just did. Those are your thoughts. Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so, too. <laughs> Just immediately knew what we were thinking. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, first you have to enter the ghost world. Uh, and the ghost button is your ticket in. The best thing you can do is try it. The ghost button. I guess I'll give it a little. As you can see, I mean, he couldn't like, like, fall over and help us, but no. We can kind of move around here. By the way, have you taken a look at the right side of your screen? What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform on the objects you're currently possessing. It's kind of at a wonky perspective. It's at a 90 degree angle compared to what the rest of the game is. Um, I'll try to figure... I'll figure something out for you guys, so it'll be on the bottom so you can actually read it and it not be at a 90 degree angle. But for me, I'm letting you know it's <laughs> going up and down. And it's kind of weird. Uh, it tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is out, uh, is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So, in this case, it's the folding cut that looks like I can unfold it. To perform a trick on the object you're possessing, first you have to return to the land of living. Ah, oh, okay. This time, press the back button. The back button is your ticket out of the ghost world. Well, good luck. We'll count on you. Who's this we? And I hold it. And when we go back to Ghost, we're on this side. And we can possess him. 
Huh? Well, that's funny. What is? My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Well, not everyone who dies gets special powers, you know. <laughs> so those waves are just because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power. What else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there's something else you can do. Oh yeah? And what's that? Why don't you try it and see? Trick time! And we gotta go into the ghost world to link to her corpse. This sounds weird, but yeah. What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm? Looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead! <laughs> yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the dusk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh, sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a course, you can go back in the past, uh, to a time four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there is a catch. It only works on new corpses, corpses that had already been less dead less dead for less than one day good grief and she's still well within that time I mean, yeah she pretty much died pretty recently <laughs> you might want to give it a try before it's too late but this is crazy none of this makes any sense well we're talking about the powers of the dead here it doesn't have to make sense <laughs> now then let's go shall we to the time four minutes before this woman was murdered Hey, wait a second! I still don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Let's rewind time, then. And now, so I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes. Not as fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but a very real living present. All right, we have four minutes to save her life. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Who are you? Here, yeah, my business card's right here. Sister, my gold, my little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all last traces of tin set left in this country. Timsick? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. 
All I know is you've got nowhere else to run. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. Oof! Hold it! Who's there? Hold it! A shotgun? What kind of flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Or kind of. It's not flashy. Just thorough. They call me nearsighted Jingo, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. Your, my eyesight in your future. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No! Kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with the... F uh, toyed by fate. And a man toyed by... Uh, toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like to. The, re uh, the reason it, yes you do have infinite tries on this. The reason why I said you uh, are kind of on a time limit because you could be trying to like manipulate stuff and move across whatever area you're in and you're not going to see everything. Or, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to move over here before X event happens. Thus, I'm not going to sit there and read everything. That's why. You can technically have it keep going for an infinite amount of time, but it's not going to be something that's, well, viable, I guess, is one way to put it. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to rewind back once more. But we're all the way down here this time. So this is the four minutes ago. Eh, fine, I get it. But what am I doing all the way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway to the past after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop to it then. Alright. We're gonna hang out with him. And he's gonna let us keep going. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You better get to it. And get to her f as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Where are you? Time is passing. Okay, as you see that little hourglass to the side, that tells you how much, it gives you an indication of how much time you have before she dies, and you have to start all over again. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right, you have to look at the right side of the screen. The right side, or however I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> The sand on the top of the mirror, it, oh gosh, on the top of the timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Up you go then. Well, let's trick this, which stands up the mannequin. And then we can move to the mannequin, and move to the fridge, which then we can open. Click. Who 
are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said I had uh, this whole bit here. Hey, if it's something I've read before, I'm not going to worry about it again. Uh-oh, our time's running out. we got to close it again, otherwise we'd be on the other side there and we couldn't get over. I'm going... Okay, yeah, we can't do this yet. We're going to use the fan. Oh, gosh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Now I'm up at the top. So long, sister. Just a few more steps. I hope I make it in time. Time's passing. Okay, just as a little note, the things we did previously are going to continue to work. As you can see. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Now's your chance to change your fate. There isn't much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. Trick time. Well, we're gonna ring a bell. <laughs> Shoots the pike. Darn it, what's going on here? Near Sally Gigo never misses as long as the target is within point blank range. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> it looks like you made it in time. Just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Now her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. Fate has changed! That adds more time to her. And this is where she is. <laughs> you, you've got to be kidding me! The bridge is up! You said her fate was changed, but it looks like she's still in the same predicament. I said her fate was changed ever so slightly. I guess I'm gonna have to take care of that guy once and for all. But there isn't much time left depending on what you do. There's still a possibility of failure. I don't want to think about a failure now. No, of course not, but still. If you ever feel like you want to start over, just tap the hourglass button before time runs out. Although, you never know. You might learn a thing or two when time runs out, too. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. But right now, I'd better get no after those two. Alright, let's move a little bit. Oh. That's because I was put it. Yeah, because I put it on. <laughs> I don't know what she was saying. I bet you're wondering what's going on over there, right? Oh, that's right. If I want to take a look, I can drag the screen. Exactly. And by the way, you can also perform a flick to do the same thing, only faster. Whichever way is easiest for you. Well... Nowhere to run to, eh? Yeah, I don't... This time I mean it. Let's switch things around. <laughs> He's like, what? You hear something? Now I do. Say goodbye. Boom. <laughs> and there goes the bike. <laughs> and he's on the he's on the wrecking ball. <laughs> She's just like, what? <laughs> How's it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger's gone? Yes, it looks like the danger. Mr. Danger, in fact. Rolled away somewhere. Mm. Used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. Fate averted! 
So I lost my life tonight. It saved somebody else's life. When I came back to the present, it was raining. I had saved the life of this stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain, even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. strikes the chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all, why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway? Just call me Ray. As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't gonna tell me your real name, I take it. Well, you haven't told me your name yet, either, actually. I can't remember. Yes, I guess your memories... I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But it's, if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left for the dead, and that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're gonna cease to exist. What? T -t Tomorrow morning? Wait a minute. These powers of the dead? Yes. I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course! No, oh, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You're only ex you'll only exist in the world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid, in fact, that cannot be changed. So there's really no way of escaping my own death. In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story, the lost story of my fate right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that, you won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death, as well as you should. I will, but let's see. What should I... How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? Well, that's easy. You start with her. Achoo! The person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. And not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight? In a place like this. That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm a blank sheet of paper right now. Maybe I... Eh, I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Tap the record book button to view a record of what you learned tonight, and be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things, after all. New info has been added. Alright then, I wish you good luck.
Trick time! And we can look in here. Me, the mystery! <laughs> I lost my life in a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is the redhead woman that witnessed my death. The redheaded target. A woman who was at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by a hitman. And I have saved her with my power to the dead. Ray of Light. He calls himself Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the powers of the dead. Hunter in the Dark. He calls himself nearsighted Jigo? He's a sniper who carries a, a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the redhead the woman and me. But he's gone now due to an unfortunate accident. Huh. Huh. Uh, phone book is something we'll get to later. But that'll be it for this episode. Uh, yeah. This is the pilot of Ghost Trick. So... I hope you guys will enjoy this series. Um, I think we've gotten probably about halfway through chapter one. So, yeah, like I said, it's not entirely long. So, it's going to be something pretty simple. And I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Later.